young blood, folks. It's young blood. Folks, we're here at Perry, Florida. This is uh, 2013 at the Dysfunctional Family Reunion. We're here with the driver and the owner of Young Blood. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? We're what? from Panama City, Florida. Panama City. You from Panama City? Panama City. Panama City. City. Panama City. I'm from Nashville. I only live about 45 minutes away from there, so <laughs> we're almost neighbors. Uh, what's your name? Gary Walker. Gary Walker? All right. Um, we're here. What's up with this truck now? We've been seeing this truck going through the mud all day long and you've been kicking ass. I mean, you've been tearing shit up. You, you, you've got a belt hanging down now. I believe that you got to put a little bit of repair in and get back out there. Oh, Do you yeah. think you'll get back out there this evening? Let me tell you something about this truck. We ain't worried about nothing. They ain't worried about it. Because you know what? I got 15 years of friendship with this fella right here. His name is Burton Bert Punches. Yep. This guy right here, me and him, we drove hot rods for a long time. And we got young blood right here. So the yeah. truck is named after you? That's your driver right That's there. your driver right there. Oh, you're the driver. Yes, sir. You're the builder. We're the builder. We're the builder. Right, okay. All right, that's good. These are the, okay, we got that. Everybody understands. Now, uh, let's go on to your tires. What kind of daggum rubber are you sitting on? Young blood, you tell them what we got. 30 and a half, 1550 TSLs. 30 and a half? 38 and a half. <laughs> okay, there you go. 16 wide. Spit it out. 30, 16 wide. Yes, 16 sir. wide. All right, what kind of air pressure you run? 30, 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Front and back? Yes, sir. Same, same as go. Same. Okay. Uh, let's go back down to your transfer case and all that. Is that what's up with the transfer? It's 205. Cast iron. Single shift? Yes, sir. Yeah, that thing is in low lock. Yeah. And that's the way it stays. All right. We keep it in low range, old school. That's the way me and him learned, and that's the way we keep things rolling. All right. While the ladies ain't listening, what's, tell us about your rear end. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's out of a J20 Jeep. Okay. And 68. Yeah, 68. 68 Jeep. Front end? Dana 30. Dana 30. Okay. Out of a Jeep. It's got Chevrolet spindles on the front of it. That's why I picked no it. Shocks on, no shocks on the front. We got leaf springs on the front. Let's show everybody how that is. Yep. We got leaf springs under here on the front. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a little bit different than a lot of guys are going. How's that working for you? I think it's working great. We ain't broke nothing in three days. How's it handle in the mud with that hey, leaf spray? Ask Young Blood about that. It picks the tires off the ground. The bounce it yeah. bounce pretty good. About three foot of clearance when every need, time it goes. When you well, need you it to bounce, it. it comes up just right. You can see right here where it hit to clear it. Yep, yep. The travel. We can see that. All right. Well, if we look at your front tires and then we go back and look at your rear tires, we got a big, big difference. Yeah. All right. What do they call so, that, Young Blood? Huh? What do they call that, Young Blood? I don't know. Bulldog? Yeah, oh yeah. You bulldogging it? Oh yeah. <laughs> now, is that just because there's a difference in the tire size or is that the rear end size? No, that's just the difference in the way the body's sitting on the frame. Okay. Alright. Well, that's it. That's uh it's to put it's more weight on the way the, the body's sitting on the frame. Well what I was talking about is the, the back tires look wider than the front. That's because the rear end's wider. That's what I was getting at. The rear end out of the uh, Jeep is a whole lot wider than the front end. And uh, next we're gonna move right on into the engine size. Talk to that man. Uh-oh. He don't, he don't want to tell us about the engine size. What's wrong with that? That's been a it's secret. secret. He said, I ain't got, oh, it's a secret. Well, folks, you're gonna have to check back with us in a minute after I convince these folks to tell us the secret. Stay tuned after this commercial. Right here on Rednecks Gone Wild. Folks, this is the commercial I was telling you about. Uh, go on eBay and you can buy you a sticker. Go on eBay and look up Mud in My Blood sticker. And uh, they're 325 free shipping. Okay, now back to the regularly scheduled video. Thank you for buying a sticker. Now, we've come back to tell about the engine. I know there's a whole lot of engine noise behind us. And that's the reason that we did this clip at this certain time because horsepower is everything in this profession. I mean, it's not only a profession, it's a hobby and it's a love and it's a passion. 
Mud bogging, folks. We love it. This is what we live, and we have mud in our blood. Okay? We want to know what this guy's got in his truck. Let's see if he'll tell us. One thing, it's small block Chevrolet. You know, all these guys from big block Chevrolet, you ain't got to have a big block Chevrolet to make a lot of horsepower. How y'all doing? Hey, small block Chevrolet, you can make 400, 450 horsepower. But you know what? We're doing it on pump gas. For young blood and my best friend Burton Futches, we do it every day. We build this shit in the garage with old school parts just like it was meant to be in the 70s, early 70s, That's right, right. Funches? That's right. So this engine is a seven, from the 70s? This motor right here, this block, is a 1969 Corvette block. Are you serious? Yes, sir. That's badass. Okay, it's 60 over. It's got 1963 Corvette fuel injection head, the 461X head. It's got aluminum intake. It's got a 650 car motor, all right? Look, it don't take much to make, make perfect sense about this horsepower, but that's what we do. We have been, been doing this shit for 15, 20 years. This is what you got for your life. This hey, is your hobby. Hey, this is my hobby. We've been drag racing. Me and this fella right here, he had a 67 Camaro, I had a 67 Ford. This kid and his kid, myself, were, were put in car seats behind the wheel tub on everything we drove on the street. This one right here knows the best. I'll tell you that. Okay. We'll start what by we're the looking at next is uh, I think we got a little bit. Uh, was there anything else that you? Was there anything else that you maybe uh, wanted to tell us that maybe we were distracted by uh, one of these trucks that was driving by that we wasn't able to hear you? Hey. These guys right here got all the money. They got all the money? They got all the money to build them big ass, bad ass trucks. Well, hey, I tell you what, they ain't got all the money because I'm holding a whole lot of it. But I tell you what, brother, <laughs> we got all the knowledge. And it's, hey, 20, and it's 20 years of making hot rods and making this shit go fast. Okay. And me and this buddy right here, they want to put it out to the Young Bloods. That's why this name, this truck is named Young Blood. After my son, he's six, 17 years old. He plays football for That's young blood. high school. Yes, he gets good grades. That's young and let blood. Let me tell you something. I'll do anything in the world for this guy right here. How many uh, injuries did? How many injuries? This were... truck. We've been here since Thursday. We've been playing hardcore for three days. It well, ain't broke nothing but a damn fan belt. Folks, what I really meant was. How many injuries did you create building the truck? How many times did you have to go to the doctor because you cut a finger or something like that? Hey, when you know what you're doing, you don't get hurt. No injuries? No injuries. None whatsoever.